the Baton Rouge Police Department is investigating their own. This comes after a video went viral showing police arresting two black men after a fight. And now the NAACP is involved. NBC Local 33's Anam Siddiqui is in studio with the story. Anam? Renee and Jacob, this all happened downtown on 3rd Street Friday night, right across the street from Thibodeau and Boudreaux. You see a physical fight between two groups of people. Officers detained these guys, and you see the others walk away. Two of the men claim they were only tased and detained because they are black. This video provided to us from a witness is surfacing on social media, showing a physical fight in downtown Baton Rouge that has the Baton Rouge Police Department under the hot seat. Well, initially, when I saw the video, my first reaction was anger. Tiara Jones with the Baton Rouge NAACP is representing Kentron Leonard, the man you see in the black jersey. Jones says Leonard and his friend were asked to leave City Bar by officers with no reason. What you see is two groups arguing. On their way out, um, the white guys who were in the video actually called my client the N-word. It's my understanding that he looked as if he was intoxicated and joined. When I say he, I mean the white guy who called him the N-word. Then Leonard is punched. After a short scuffle, Leonard's friend pushes another man to the ground. Then the same two officers who told them to leave City Bar approach with another officer as one man is kicking another. That's when you see an officer tase Leonard and detain his friend. I've spoken with my client. I've gotten a chance to know him. He hasn't had, aside from traffic tickets, any encounter with police officers. It has caused him to have some anxiety when it comes to police officers, notably most likely racial anxiety. It's unclear if the group of white men were also detained, but we do see an officer walk their way before the video stops recording. Jones is working to get surveillance video to find out what happened. Hey, hey, y'all gotta get the money, what's up? Baton Rouge police officials say they can't comment because it's an open investigation. Properly trained officers should not automatically pick and choose who the aggressor in the situation is based off of the color of their skin. Leonard and his attorney have not decided if they will seek legal actions against Baton Rouge police just yet. Anam Siddiqui, NBC Local 33 News. All right, thanks Anam for that report in studio tonight.